This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here with Christos Yagos, who fights this Saturday at UFC 241. Christos, did you get your bowling match in? I read your piece on The Athletic. Did you manage to make it out to the alley? No, not yesterday, supposedly. So, you know what? I was actually going to try to make it out, but um, they told me last week that we had a bye. So I was like, all right, you know what, I don't have to come. And then like 10 minutes before the match, my friend hit me up saying, oh no, we don't have a bye, we actually have a match. But thankfully, um, we had two people who showed up. And uh, if you don't show up, they do your average. And we ended up uh, still winning three games before. So, yeah, it was good. So you got to win without showing up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you wish that it was like that on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, you don't have to fight, get paid. No, but they, they take my average of the year, so they still use my scores okay. that I put in the hard work for. So, uh, it, Like training, right? Exactly. All right, so let's talk about a little bit. The first time I met you, for fans who followed me and uh, all that, I think it was a couple years ago, you'd been uh, cut from the UFC in those weird circumstances. You go overseas to Russia, the, the company that was owned by the shady guy and all that now you're back I mean okay I know it's a very big question but what did you take from all that experience being cut you go over there and now you're coming back I mean what's the biggest thing you took from all of those years away just experience you know what I mean I, I took uh, I've had a lot of experience and I took that like you know no matter where you are in life just you got to put in never give up never stop trying and um, always work towards what you want you know and the UFC wasn't biting so I went somewhere I thought was gonna be a good opportunity f uh, fighting overseas getting my name across the world you know what I mean so um, I did whatever it took and I feel like whatever I did I have I have one crazy journey I have one crazy story and uh, I'm just happy to be back to where I belong and just always um, enjoy the ride so Christos, you're a UFC fighter in the lightweight division. You're there, you know, Conor McGregor's in here, Tony Ferguson, Habib, Dustin Poirier. I mean, so obviously you're working your way up the ladder. Do you still watch those guys just as a fan? Or is it like, you know what, just working your way up? What is it like to say like, hey, I'm in this division at this time with these guys? It's awesome. Yeah, of course I'm still a fan. I'm a fan of the sport. I'm a fan of every fight, you know, even even guys who are just starting. Um, I love watching fights and as much as I am a fi uh, as much as I am a fan, there also can be an enemy at one point, you know what I mean? As much love and respect I have for the people, they put me if I ever get that opportunity to fight any of those guys in those 15 minutes. They're not my friend. So, um, yeah, I'm always going to be a fan no matter what, but uh Hopefully one day I work my way up to fight any one of those guys and uh, it'll be an honor in itself. You know, I'm going to work hard, never stop trying, and we'll see. Let's talk about Saturday night. You're up against a tough opponent once again. What's his biggest strength to you inside the cage? Um, I think he's just an all-around, well-rounded fighter. He has good cardio. He um, always pushes the pace, heavy hitter, good wrestling, not much of a jiu-jitsu threat. So I feel like I can go out there and just fight my game, you know. Um, I don't got to be worried about too much. I, I'm an aggressive fighter, heavy hitter, good wrestling. So I feel like whoever shows up is going to gonna take it that night. You know, I think um, he's definitely underestimated. I think he's definitely underestimated me. I think a lot of people are, you know, being a big underdog in the fight. But it, it makes sense, you know what I mean? He has a better UFC record than me. And, um... I'll let everyone know who I am on Saturday. How do you get the job done? I see it going a lot of different ways. Um, he's never been finished, so I'm not saying I, it's going to be easy, but my, my jiu-jitsu game is a lot better. My striking's on point, but you know what I mean? I don't, you know, a decision might happen as well. So whoever shows up, and I'm always going for the finish. I'm always looking, you know, for the opportunities, but um, he's not easy to put away, and I, I'm not going to spend all my energy trying to do so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight a very smart, good fight, but a very uh, entertaining one as well.